Alrighty guys and gals, let's continue on building Gringotts Wizarding Bank by Lego Harry Potter. This is set number 76417. It contains 4,800 three bricks, I believe. Retails for $429.99. And set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And yes, we are finally on manual four. We're getting close to the build. And this is pretty much what we have done so far with the bank. So... The last couple of bags to this upper portion of the wall, so hopefully today we can finish this up. And remember from the last installment, we were starting to clean off these sticker sheets. I'm hoping these will go down a bit more because I'm tired of keeping track of them. So, we're going to be starting on bag 23, but here's what we'll be doing 23 through 31. Well, there's nine bags, and that's pretty much what it is. Well, now let's continue on. Let's build it. We're going to start with bag 23 and we get two of them. So, I've been kind of editing the first session of this. Not too terribly bad. I've just been trying to get this done here. Let me take a look. I'm hoping I have everything set. Um... Let me check and make sure my white balance is indoors. Good. Okay. And I haven't been working on building guides. Not because of this. I've been, well, maybe, because I've been editing videos. And we were supposed to have that nasty tropical storm. It's been trying to rain, but for the most part, it's been dry in my area. Matter of fact, the path of this storm is probably about maybe, probably about 40 miles east of me, so I don't really see anything out here. So no rain in the video, sorry. I just have to hear the lawn mowers and the weed whackers, but of course it is a, a bedside build, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let me kind of figure out how we're going to do this here. Let me slide this over here. That's pretty humid, so things are going to get sticky. And we're going to start building here. Now, I may have to raise this tripod up a bit. We'll see how well we can do here. And I'm hoping I can blast through this set because I kind of want to get it done and reviewed in a couple more days. Um, and today is the 20th of August 2023. Hope we're not building two. Alright. Yeah, I've been... Oh, I needed these for that little swing there in white. Well, there they are now. But I've been trying to get done with a lot of stuff in terms of editing in case we do lose power from this storm that never arrived. But um, for the most part, I'm almost caught up with reviews except for this. We gotta make four of these, so we're just gonna do them like that. And of course, we gotta go through all the big pieces to try to find the little stuff. So what am I gonna do? If I see them, I'm gonna pull them. All I can find are these. Probably more, there's more plates than there are these round things, but yeah, if you're not a fan of plates and little pieces, uh, this is pretty much. Not for you, unless you like a challenge. Nothing exciting really happened in terms of stuff that I want to share. Just the usual stuff. It's just been hot and miserable and boring, but that's how it is.
So how I'm going to do the reviews, I'm going to shove this thing in this corner here, move the lamp out of the way, and just kind of focus in on it, and just set the camera and tripod on the little sofa bed and just be done with it. And that's it. And oh yes, <laughs> here's the deal. I'm just gonna say it now, because I just popped in my mind here. If you're not a fan of this channel, I understand. But to cuss me out in the comments section is never a good thing. Am I gonna do anything? Not really. I'll just block you. Okay? If there's things that you want me to improve on, I'll try my best to do so, but cussing me out and calling me some pretty Questionable names is not going to get me on. You're not going to get me on my good side. You're just going to get it to where I'll just ignore you. I'm a nice guy, but why do people do that? I don't know. I but I had such an instance, and I thought, well, okay, it's either a somebody in their 40s or 50s on up, or it's got to be a little kid. Most teenagers don't even bother with these. So I went to this person's YouTube channel. And I swear this kid was probably not even, he was only a single digit kid. All right. I thought, okay, you want to run your mouth, huh? Because I always like to see who they are before I block them. And I guess YouTube took away where they, I guess you can't flag them for being underage anymore. Well, I guess it's okay for everybody of any age to get on YouTube. Well, it is. I don't think I have any window frames in gray. I don't think I even have black windows. But I thought I don't, I don't have time for this. So I just said no, not today. <laughs> it cracks me up. Some people do that. I'm like, dude, you just wasted my time. I had to block you. And I'm not sorry. I just had to do it. I don't go to somebody's YouTube channel and call them names and all that stuff because I have other things to do. Oh, wait a minute. We're supposed to do it like this. All right. I thought this was something special here, but no. They were so cheap in this set, they didn't use a 1x4 plate. No, that would be too much. You just cake these on here. And it's almost like whoever designed this, well, it took five people to design it, so what does that tell you? You can probably tell some people in here, if you get this set, design this uh, with being minimal as a factor. Oh, one of these dome pieces in transparent clear. You can use that. I bet that goes on there. I bet these are used for, like, lights. But I don't know what I was saying. I'm getting tired, but I was fine until I saw this set. Now I'm yawning. I gotta find a gray. Yeah, the colors on this are pretty muted. There's not a whole lot of bright colors in this set. Just to, just being honest. And all right, this one's a little special here. If you start finding the parts, we'll start pulling them out. You put that in here, and you put this one by one in here, and you got to get one of these angular things and set it here. And then when you're done, you got to paste it with another one on the front. Yeah. But I'm hoping, though, about that Michael Myers house. I was thinking about that. I need to look at the building guide after between installments here. 
I want to see exactly where I left off that. Because if I don't have a lot to do, editing that file is going to be a total pain in the rear. But I think if I can just pace myself and just do little bits every day, it won't be bad. You know, it shouldn't be too painfully, terribly bad if I just take my time and say, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of it. I'll get it out of the way. Trying to pull out some of the parts I think I may be using here. Obviously, we got more of these, and we do the other stuff. And yeah, so I haven't been. I don't think I've even published a building guide. I got to do one real quick, probably before I head to bed. I'm getting all the the big building guides done, or the medium-sized ones. The big one is the, the Michael Myers house, but at least I have it. And, uh, the first and the, the... I think the roof was the only thing I actually proved, but I couldn't do anything because I didn't know what the part count was or anything. And I can't even tell you what that is because I'm not even done yet, and I hadn't even done through the revised... Revi you know, th this is the difference when I don't do these videos the tutorials there's a lot more revisions instead of just building a video and then going off I mean I could you know easily I'm trying to find another one by two that go on top of that is do the Michael Myers house in a, in a video tutorial although it'd be a several part I would do such a video if my channel had like 10 million subscribers but it doesn't so it saves me time could I do it for myself? I could, but I don't want to video that lengthy on a media server. It just sits there. And it would be a several part installment series. And I, I don't know, it just seems a little too long for an average YouTuber to watch. All right, once you get that done, then we can continue on here with the uh, window. See how this is starting to buckle here? Let me pull these open, and we're just going to have to mush that down in there. You know, why do we use this window throughout the whole thing if that's what they were going to do? But I've been kind of tinkering with things though and I think I can manage you know I hadn't even started another vehicle project yet it's these reviews these reviews are just taking a lot of time I'm kind of slowing down on them right now because I want to get on to my own personal stuff and uh, you know, I guess this thing's going to be a problem let me just kind of do this here and slide it there we go so I think that I think this right here is going to be used for a light that's hanging over the entry. I think that's what those are for. I just pulled them out now. All right, well, we're going to have to go back here. But you know, it's nice to get comments saying, hey, I like your builds, Jay. Even the constructor ones, like, hey, can you improve the lighting on this a bit more? You know, and I'm slowly getting to all that. So hopefully one day we'll be kind of really shooting through the stuff. But I don't want to do speed builds. I've seen some people do voiceovers while they're speed building. And it's scripted at that point. May as well just write you up a script. Put it in the description and say, here's the script. I don't want to do that. I don't know what this little leftover is for unless there's supposed to be something on top.
Yeah, I don't know what was with my YouTube feed. I've been getting a lot of Marine and Air Force uh, <laughs> recruitment videos. I thought, well, why are they, why am I getting all this for? I was curious, so I looked it up. And I can't enlist anyways. I'm, I'm too old, <laughs> which doesn't bother me. I'm way, I'm a little over the cutoff date. I thought, I, and I wouldn't anyways. But I was like, man, what's with all this? All of a sudden, kind of scary. I don't think I can survive through PT to be honest. So I won't do that. PT stands for physical training. Although I'm pretty fit and I do jogs and stuff, but to have somebody make you jog around and climb ropes and go in the mud, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think I would do that. I think, let me just go here. And of course, you know, with my attitude, if the drill sergeant comes up in my face, I give him a, I'll give him a word or two. He'll probably make me wish I never did, but yeah, it's all about discipline. These all the military is just taking orders, listening to what you're told. You can't talk back. What's what you do at a at a day job? You can't talk back to your boss. When I tell you to do something, you have to do it. I don't even have to give you a reason. Usually I have to give people reasons why I'm doing it just so they know later on. Hey, I'm doing this because it's safer this way. It may be slower, but I need you to listen to me on this one here. Trust me with this. I have to do this because it's a law. This has to be done a certain way. I've got to make two of these. But I think once I uh, get the get that build done, it won't be too bad in terms of publishing that building guide. I know um, that somebody said, well, why don't I just do it for free? Now, now first off, those are going to take a lot of time to write up, and two, um, it doesn't pay it that doesn't pay the bills if I give it to you for free or I give it to anybody for free for that matter well what's the you know and I had a guy who's like well what's the difference you're writing it up for yourself I said because I'm not I have to host those files somehow hosting files like that cost money I said that's why I won't do it and two I don't want to have to deal with with that. And usually people complain when it's free anyway, so if I want somebody to complain, they're going to pay for it, and then they have every bit to complain. Because these building guides, even something like this, these are not easy to write up. And I notice Lego overflows the pages on these, so I may have to start doing that with mine. Usually I give myself a 10 pixel border around them. Uh, they don't do that here. So I may have to start doing that here. You know, I can build right here. You can still see what I'm doing, huh? So, as far as for ring lights, once the storm blows over, I'm going to go ahead and order one. I have an old tripod, and unfortunately I cannot find the adapter to it, and it doesn't, the thing that holds this adapter on does not unbolt. It's like plastic, and it's fused, and I thought, well, there's only one option, and that's to toss it in the garbage. So I'm going to have to probably dispose of a tripod. It's just something minor broken. If I can use it for a light, I can't. So... If I can't figure out another use for it, that's where it's going to go. 
I may see if I can uh, quickly fabricate something just to fit in there. The light doesn't weigh all that much. I'll just do that. But as far as for the ring light, they do make them that this camera would sit right in the middle of it. And that's what I'm looking for. If there's a ring light, you'd see a nice glow right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. They have a lot of the smaller ring lights that are battery, rechargeable batteries and stuff. Like they're, they're rechargeable. So I may end up getting just one of those. As far as for that one light is concerned, well, what I pay for it, not too bad. I can use it for uh, an extra light if needed. I'm still thinking about buying another set of those or just buy one more. Doing all this on a budget, folks. Why? Because I want to buy more parts. <laughs> okay, I need some downwards brackets. You know, I can't buy parts if I'm using them for other things. Okay. All right, this is going to get kind of kind of wiggly here. I mean, gonna, stomach will probably squirm I'm trying to put this on there without it messing up. All right, making sure there's no gap in there. best thing to have. I cannot stress that enough. But everything in, everything that I've been doing on is on a budget. Yeah, so like this. You, this is prop. You're going to get into filming before you start buying all the fancy cameras and the gizmos and stuff. This is probably the first thing you need to get is a turntable. Because you can just use, you know, I've seen some guys who use an iPhone to record their videos. And they're muffling around something like this. I'm like, get a turntable. You know, and uh, they do help. They don't have to be an expensive one. Just something cheap like this is more than what you need. If you want the lip inside, there you go. Or you can put a piece of wood like I did on mine. Um, it's like this goes up here, right here. Right. Okay, now I got to remember there's a stud that goes on the left. Remember, we forgot it the last time down here. Well, this time I remembered. So we're going to put that right in there. And there you go. Right there. And that goes right here. I bet we're building a mirror, but what I remember from the last one wasn't the same down here. I mean, it may be. I don't know. Now this one's using a shorter one here. weather out here is starting to get pretty brutal. Like earlier today, it was fine. It was clear as a bell. And all of a sudden, clouds started rolling in a little bit and started getting dark. Still warm outside, but that was it. <laughs> Let's see here. 
didn't do much of anything at that point. I've been hearing kind of hearing little drops here and there outside, but then it soon will dry up and then get clear again. But we haven't hit stickers yet, Lego. I'm getting kind of sad now. I'm expecting we're going to have a sticker marathon so I can bellyache through it. See how I'm covering up this? It's kind of dark here. See, that's dark. Get that halo light. There you go. And I've been. I need to tinker around with doing the face video lights so when I do the video, I can do the camera in front of the computer thing and then I can talk to you guys in a live chat again. And that would be kind of a cool thing to do. And just. What I'm doing, thinking about doing for a live show though. It might be on the main channel. Just sit back and just chat with you guys. Just chat. And you can ask me any questions. You can ask me questions about the ambassador thing and all that stuff. And I'll try to answer them as best I can. And just kind of chit chat with everybody. And of course, those live shows will not be saved on the main, they will be archived to the second channel. This thing is like three stories tall. We'll cheat and look at the book. Yes, it is. So, we will be in for a treat. All right, what I'm going to do... Before we do anything, we're going to raise this up a bit more um, because now we're going to need to do a top view here. Yeah, caution, motion sickness. Get to look at the beautiful dirty lampshade that's all banged up. All right. Let's see if I can get a little closer here for you. Hey, you know, <laughs> I don't script these out, which is beautiful, because this is what I usually do when I'm doing calls, like on Discord and stuff, when I'm building things. So, you don't... Friends don't get to see the scripted, scripted stuff, almost said a bad word, they get to see the goodies. That's it there. Now we got to put a piece here. At least they have an arrow that shows you that. And then that's it. I had an idea. Well, earlier for dinner, I had some barbecue pan trout. It was really good, too. Still stuff from dinner time. And then I found some those little. Uh, Okay, this tile's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be pushed in by a whole plate. And then I found some of those little, those hard candies, those little hard candies. Still in the bag, I thought these are probably harder than molasses, you know, they're pretty, probably pretty tough. I ate a couple of them, they're not too bad. And I'm not a person who likes to waste things, so I'm going to consume those before they go bad. I think I found a bunch of these here, and I just kind of set them off to the side. And so I thought, well, I'm not, I'm not going to waste them, so I've been kind of snacking on those a bit. I can only take the sugary stuff for so long, and then that's pretty much what it is. Okay, missing one more here. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're gonna be putting the light in here. Wait a little at this angle here, you can almost see everything that I'm doing. So it's like a little one of those old school hanging lights. And then I wish we can wire this up with a light kit or something. You know, I am really surprised Lego has not come up with a light kit. I've been getting contacted by companies asking me to review their light kits, but they're for sets. And I'm like, if you have stuff for mocks, like a free hand one, I'd love to test one of those out. But I never... Uh... Oh, wait, this one here goes in here. My bad. I used the wrong one. Oh, now I'm going to have to really tear that apart. But I was like, if you just have a, a normal one I could use, I wouldn't mind testing that out for mocks. Because I'm always into finding light kits. But sadly, they don't even have uh, light kits for a lot of this stuff. It's Lego kind of just shot themselves in the foot. Because they used to sell light kits years ago. They don't anymore. Like back in the 80s, they used to have them with the power function stuff, but they don't. So that's what it looks like there. We'll get all those, get all that lined up there. And then this little booger here just hangs on this little hook. Can I just stick it in there and swing it around? No, it just falls right off. This thing is kind of falling apart already. All right, and that tile there is starting to come off, but there it is. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do the close-up view on this with the camera. When I'm sitting, the camera will be right here where I'm sitting at now. So when I do the close-up shot, I'm going to have the light sitting next to me and just take the camera. We're just going to point in to it. That's how I'm going to do it. Just trying to figure out ways to make it not so painful. No, it's got to be in the center. All right, I need a brick separator. Oh, don't tell me I don't. Okay, so I'll say I'm, I should have one up here. I want that in the center. Okay. All right. All right, this goes here. With the hole right there, so you can peek out and see what your neighbors are up to. <laughs> so I have a feeling that this is left open, but we have pegs here. So I'm wondering if you're supposed to join more of these builds together. Maybe that's a hint that they're going to bring out more mod, more modular type type builds for this. Maybe with an underworld too. We don't know yet. Ooh. What are we making a three by sixteen brick? Or three by sixteen by two thirds. All right, so this goes here, and I don't think it matters which way it goes. But it's supposed to go, I think, there. Yeah. So I'm press these down in here. 
if this was sealed in the back, this would just be an epic modular. Like, like, um, European style. Which would be so cool to make a European style theme set. You know, I mean, just tossing items out there, you know, just some ideas. And... European style architecture is pretty cool. It's not like out here everything's kind of modern. And we stucco everything together and that's just how it is. If you're from Europe, you ever been out here to the States? Well, out here on the West anyways, all the buildings are all stucco and concrete. You go to Europe, it's like stone. <laughs> Those buildings have been around for hundreds of years. They lasted that long, and out here, it's, you know. and then this goes right here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what that tile was for. There, there's a sport right about here where my thumb is at. Just kind of squeeze that down in there. And I think the next part, I think we're wrapping around this whole thing. Um, not sure yet. Okay, what they want you to do is have these hang out. So you got to do them like this. Yeah, but building a building like a European cottage would be so cool. The only disadvantage is I've never been inside one. There are some out in my area, but I don't think that somebody would just take somebody in and let them take a tour of their home. I'd have to pull up the building plans, but even so, I you know go to the town hall and get a building plan for a certain house. But then again, I think this fits right here. Yeah, it fits right in there. Look how seamless that looks. I mean, look at that. That's like just perfect. All right. And we still have some stuff left, so I don't know where all these extra tiles went. We might have forgot something in here. I'll have to kind of take a look here. Well, let's, let's do this real quick here. And then kind of an odd place to stop. Right here. And these are just sitting on there too. Now we got to find out what these three tiles go to now. Isn't that fun? And this goes like right here. Okay. Now, where do those tiles go? I think it's not going to give me semi just some random parts of it. It's kind of some of their hearts. All right, I forgot a page here. All right, we got off easy this time. There's three of them that go in here. Finish that up. And that wraps up bag 23. All right, now we're gonna see what 24 involves. Uh-oh, we have an extra brick here. What did we forget? Let's see, did I put those in here? I think I forgot to put the one in this one here. Yep, that's what I did. <laughs> well, there we go. I knew we'd forget something, right? Now, there we go. That's where, now we're going to... Oh, 
Oh, look at all that. It's white. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for a set with bright colors, this, this one does not fit the bill. Matter of fact, he's not even a part of this thumbnail, actually. He needs to go on the figure spin. I still have that dinosaur dragon thing around here somewhere. Oh, it's at the end of the sofa. So I'm going to drop him right now. I'm not going to do a full-blown tour on this when I'm done building. That'll be for the main. All right. All right. So we're going to be working here right now. What Lego? No two by six plate with two or brick with two studs. Oh wow, we're really kind of skimping on the sizes, are we? I'm looking for a one by six. What happened? And did the white table eat it up? No. And then we've got to find a hinge plate and lock that in here. The manual is, uh, I'm going to say it's probably average on this build. Average build in terms of retention and speed. It's not too slow and it's not too fast. Okay. But for something like this, you don't want to just start building... Like, you don't want to just start, like, there's 30 pieces you got to put in at one time. When I first started learning how to write building guides, that's what I thought. Well, I understand it. Well, later on, I would come back and think, and wait, what? I'm not going to spend all this time. <laughs> that's a lot of time there to do that. So I just said, no, I'm not doing that anymore. And that's not a really good way or method to write them up. Oh yeah, before I was doing the, before I started this installment, I was just jamming out to some dubstep and had to get my music fixed before quiet time. I mean, the musicians and the record companies did that to themselves. You know, oh, we're going to claim the rights for your video if you put our music in it. That would be our video. Yeah, but I'll just delete it and re-upload the same video without the music track in it. I'll stop that one. That's why these are kind of kind of dry and boring, but I'd rather do this than get a, uh, a strike just because I used a music song in here. Okay, they have this sitting right on top of this plate right here. That's not a bad idea. Give it a little character there. Ooh, one of these attic pieces in white. I got a bunch of slow pieces now in white, so, you know, that could be used for, um, you know, other things. I'm going to just say this right now. I just think this sets, it looks cool, but I think they just kind of rush this one here. It just feels like they just kind of just grab just some parts. I mean, I understand Lego's got limitations and stuff, but I kind of just feel like this is kind of like a rushed build. Like they were just trying to crank out something. I mean, it looks good on the bottom. Like the, the beginning wasn't too bad, but it seems like the bank is just kind of... I don't know, it's just something that they kind of threw together. Like, Lake will kind of just pieced it together and said, here you go, knock yourself out. I don't, I, I don't, it just doesn't seem kind of... This goes here, and there's a, a 4 plate with two studs. I'm finding regular ones. I'm going to start setting the regular ones over here. 
and I'll put the tiles on the other side. Yeah, there's a lot of Lego themes I'd love to see. Why don't I make themes? Because I'm not really into themes all that much. Horror flicks, haunted houses, those type of things, but not um, like, I mean, certain fantasy stuff, but like Harry Potter is not one of them. I just, I've been getting requests, why don't I do Star Wars mocks? It just boils down to I'm not interested in the theme all that much to do it. Now, I know that those videos would probably scoop up a lot of views, but if your heart's not into a build, you wouldn't be, you weren't going to put your best into it. Yes, it wouldn't be worth it here. Well, this is fine and dandy. I haven't found it yet, but I found every other size on this table. Everything's white. Time I think I found one, it's one of these stinking one by four plates. I just figure I'll pull them all out until I find it. I think I've pulled out about a month, but there's not a, the manual hadn't even ate it. Maybe the manual's full from all the other parts. Maybe it just doesn't like the white bricks floating underneath it. Yeah, I don't, oh, there it is. I was like, yeah, I don't know, but there it is. That's what I was looking for. All right. Okay, three short ones and one large one. Well, there's only two here, so. Alrighty. And we can't forget this corner here. know where the one by fours are at. I already pulled them all out <laughs> trying to find everything. Alright, I need to find a one by two plate with bow. I'm waiting to, waiting to hear the thunder. They say we're supposed to have a 100% chance of rain by now, but what am I hearing? I opened up that window early and I, I just heard nothing but crickets outside. Normal common stuff you hear out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'm looking for another one of these pieces here. And I don't have enough space to store it on my table. this right here I'm getting frustrated now it's just when you're looking at a very boring color on a white table like this it's just kind of drags it out it's just I mean I know my older stuff I use a lot of white because that's all I had but man this is just that's why I try to break away from using white in all my builds like that. Very subtle, I will. Like a house, older stuff, I will, but. Just pulling everything out right now that's kind of slopey. <laughs> and then hopefully I'll run into it eventually. It almost looks like one of these in the back, but. Yeah, this must be the only part in here if I cannot find it. There must be only just two of them. Okay, found it. Yeah, even just doing this, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, now we're working back down here. Well, wouldn't you do that when you were doing this? How am I gonna push that in? Just find a spot that's secure and press it down from inside. All 
I have a feeling we're going to be putting a lot of tiles on this nail. And, you know what I could do? Squeakiness on the wall will get on my nerves. All right. And this little booger goes here. Put my hand in there. I think it would have been easier if you just did not put this stuff on the top already. Because I'm really, things are starting to get out of alignment real quick. And that's it. Now I gotta make four of these things here and stick them on the side of that window. I was wondering what they were gonna do here. Well, now we know. It just would have been nice if you can see through those windows, but no, it's uh, all blocked off. There's one, you gotta make four of those things right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this. You look at my 1960s house, 1950s home, I added a lot of color in those in the original blueprints of the house. They didn't have any. 50s and 60s styles houses they did, but my parents had the house painted the, it was like a light yellow and dark brown. Those colors didn't exist. I think the original color of the house was supposed to be white and gray when it was built. Of course, that would have been very boring. I had a composite roof, but I didn't have enough of that gray slope stuff, so I had to use the red. I think we're messing with nothing but white parts, guys and gals. This is, uh, let me see here, what's bag 20? What is that? 25. Oh, 25's got a bunch of greens and stuff in there. All right, well, that's motivating me now to blast through this, but I can't go any faster because I'm too busy trying to find a 1x3. Oh, there it is. I was trying to find that. Got to make four of these and shove them in there. All right, just... And you got to do the same thing on the other side, but with these. So, start piecing that together. All right, I'm going to start pulling out all the one-by-ones since I have a feeling that I'm going to need those. Got to make four of these and shove them in here. Plug it in. <laughs> All you gotta do is plug it in. All right. Uh, I heard something go off, but. Uh... Kind of getting things done right now. I honestly can't wait to get these sets filmed. So I think what I'm going to do, I've been editing a lot of parts unboxings, and I think what I'm going to do is start capping everything off at a thousand. And if a thousand is too much, I'm going to start going at 900. And then for the remainder of the bill, uh, the stuff that's over a thousand pieces, we're going to just do what we did here with this one, is just jump with the bags and just take a look at parts as we build. You know, instead of making just 
content to throw on YouTube, we're gonna do that. Of course, these type of parts we've all seen before. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna shove this thing in first. And there we go. And yeah, we are going to be tiling all around here too. Let me put that over there. I mean, at least we have a window to press these up against. I think we're going to replicate this down here, up here. I see a bunch of those slopes. I'm just not a fan of the way they did this, to be honest. This is pretty time consuming. Okay. And a one by four tile. Okay. Well, that takes care of that side. All righty. And then, and now we focus our attention to here. I guess there is a gap in there. This is a different, wait a minute, okay, we, I am messing up, well, I'm just going to pay the price with that, I guess, huh, that's the, splitting apart two one by one plates can be a bitch sometimes, so I'm just going to back butter this one here, and stick this back in here. Like, there's something missing, but now we know exactly what was going on. It's like, this doesn't match. Now it matches. Okay. And it looks like we are adding some kind of maybe a flagpole to this. sure what that is yet. We'll find out eventually. Alrighty. Now I gotta make a bunch of 1x4 plates. How many of these do I have to make? Six of them? I see where five of them go. Oh, there's one that goes up there. Well, we'll shove that one in there first. I can focus on this right here. At least we're getting there, huh? <laughs> it's slow. You know, I can see the next step. I'm going to go ahead and just incline to start sticking these in here right now. Kind of just feel around the build and make sure you're not going to pinch something and break it. I don't want to, have to go back in and try to find out what broke and how to put it back in. What if I come in and do it like this? I thought that would make it any easier. Yeah, a little better. That cat goes over there. OK. 
Okay. One more. And that finishes up this corner. And we put six there. I didn't put that one there. All right. Okay, now we're going to be tiling on the top of that. So let's get that going there. That's not too bad. We can do it. We can handle that. So use this above the door here. I guess for adding character. And that's... okay, I see where this goes, but we're not ready for that right now. Taking it. What are we going to put gargoyles or something on there like how the older buildings usually do? Okay, this should go here. And yeah, trust me on that one there. Between here is actually a jumper plate. There's one right here. And then we wrap it up with this. Yeah. Alright, so now we got to make some roof pieces, and that's what goes above here. So we got to do four of these. Well, at least it's uh, a little friendly this time, and I have to do a bunch of these. Right now I pulled all the slopes in here off. So these are in the center. Just put the pegs inside the tubes, and there you go. And then what we're going to do, since these are pretty simple, I'm just going to Start shoving things in now. I think that's what it's supposed to do. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There's some, There's something that's supposed to go in there. My bad. Okay. It's like, okay, this thing ain't going to be sitting in there. This is supposed to go in there first, so don't forget that. And when I build my mocks, that's essentially what I do. Okay, I forgot to put something in. So what do I do? I put it in. <laughs> I've done it a lot of times, so it's okay to make a mistake or two. I mean, not, we're not gluing it. I think there's supposed to be a little hole there. Yep. Looks like the book. Just kind of swing them where they just press down on the top there a little bit. Slight push to make sure they're against that slope. And the same thing here. and snap it in. I think they would have done copper, a copper roof on this or something. Well, this one here turned out fine. I mean, I can't even bend these, but that one over there, I have to let me take a look here. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah, this one shows a gap, and this one's not. That one's pretty good. This one, I don't know. Okay. Let me pick all this stuff up, because we're going to need to rotate this thing a full 180 here. All right. And we got to work there now. Okay. Still got this little hole here, a little draft, a little drafty in there. Okay, the best thing is to start from here first. Kind of confused, but and we kind of end evenly at these pieces here, which looks like a one by three. I think we're going to start working on that now. No, we are adding siding 
and there's a lot of parts to add to this thing. So we're going to start with the middle here. And if I start seeing the smaller stuff, like here's a six, we're going to put this up here. And if I find pieces that fit, we'll start putting these in here. One by one plates and tiles or and even bricks are so hard to line up. They can be a total bitch trying to get everything to line up. You can combat that though if you have yourself another flat tile or a brick separator. Just kind of push it up against there. And it looks pretty good. Well, yeah, I'll have to find that one. That one was already in my hand. And then there you go. Okay. I don't know what we're putting there. Maybe an awning or something. I don't know. Or maybe some of those big round things we've been messing with. Oh, wait a minute. That... We don't need that, we need that tile. Okay, looks good to me. And, okay. Now we gotta, oh, that's not too bad. We should just left that all in one step then. Lego, are we trying to do the digital building guide version here and drag it out? I can't say much. I do the same thing in my building guides, too. All right, now we got to turn our attention to this spot here. Now, I have a gut feeling we're going to make some of these. So what I'm going to do is pre-make these as I find them now. Because I'm looking for... Some of the smaller pieces, so we'll just pre-build things as we get it done. Kind of stick things in as we go here. Yeah, it's really humid right now. It just feels warm in here. Let's make another one of these here. I found a plate. Alright. Well, I already skipped ahead and made that step already. Probably because I saw it, but that's what I did there. That's supposed to be like that. It doesn't really matter. And then now we'll continue on with this stuff here. Got to make six of these. So what I'll do is I'll stick this one up here first. Remember, I kind of missed that one. So what am I going to do? Shove it in there and be done with it. Get it out of the way. Yeah, pretty seamless over there. We still have this rail piece. Well, that, what does that even go to? Here, we'll put it there so you can admire it. Like, what does that even do? I got a tile. We got one more of these. Well, we haven't gotten that far yet. We're doing the siding still. So it looks like bag, whatever number this is, 23 or 24. I don't even know. Does this one here. We'll find out here in a bit. There we go. All right, so we're not even going to use the rail, I bet, huh? Okay. 
I mean, there's only two pieces left, so we're missing something somewhere. We're gonna have to backtrack here. The rail obviously goes here in the front. That a tile on top. So we have one extra one by two plate. We're gonna go through it and make sure here. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. That one by two plate is supposed to be in here. This looks good the way it is, but pull that out real quick, and it's supposed to go here. And what I said, always backtrack your work. Just take your time. There we go. Now it looks just like that one, and that's it. And that's what we have remaining there. And that's not too terribly bad. Yeah, it's not white this time. We got some nice sand green in there too. Okay. But I have to do a minifigure first. I thought we'd get away without having to do a minifigure. Well, that means me and we're gonna be doing stickers too. We haven't hit any stickers yet. What is this, Darth Vader? And this one's got a double-sided head, but I'm just gonna pick it for its default. Which one does it ask me to use, that one? Right, we're gonna just do the torso, and let's do the minifigure and stuff real quick. And uh, I'll just get him out of the way, or he takes the wand and stuff. We're gonna save the figure till later. I don't wanna spend my time trying to find all the little parts to him. And now we are here on top of that. All right, so that's what we're working at right now. Well, that's kind of a cool piece. I, I need those, but not in that color. Oh, we get some black lattice windows, too. Plenty of these. I can always use those for all sorts of stuff. And anybody's tuning in, yes, I will be parting this out for other mocks and creations and prototypes and all that other stuff. almost like the first story on this except it's a different color. Oh, I bet you anything that's going to get a sticker. We haven't hit any stickers yet, but I have a feeling we're going to get hit hard with stickers before you know it. Because after this installment, we're going to be doing, uh, okay, I see the round brick. Let's put this one here in first. I have a feeling towards the end, it's going to be like, okay, get your sticker, sh get your sticker gloves on. We're going to be applying a lot of sticky stuff to your bricks. And that's exactly what we will be doing. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, we gotta put a sticker on this little booger here. Alright, so that will be sticker number 21 with the gold cup at the bottom. And it's just hard to keep track of all the stickers. 
And that's 21 right there. Putting stickers on this round stuff is a nightmare. I'm going to start in the center here real quick. May not get it totally in the center, but... And then... Well... Uh, I think I managed that. <laughs> and then... This goes right in here. So what does somebody do? Jump up out of the window and put that on there? I climbed it with the ladder? Probably use a spring and lasso it around something, the stud just to get up there. Alright. We've all seen these before. I build it, you'll know exactly what we're building now. Yes, if you guessed the cardboard box, you are right. This idea was not by me, it was made by Lego a long time ago. It's a really efficient way to make a box. Must be where they uh, deliver the goods. You can probably figure out what I mean by that. I don't even know if it's legal over there. And you're probably not. Oh, these are dark brown. I'll have to get a few of those. All right, I found the wands to the minifigure. Let me go ahead and separate them now. And I'll put that in the spare bin. Toss that in the trash. It's a little bracket that holds all the wands together. It's better can't recycle it into something. Oh, we only had to do one sticker so far. Well, not too bad. We only have a handful of parts. There's two of these, so I have a feeling these are going to get all stickified. Okay, some green. Must be a copper roof. And now we're doing something that's not boring. But at least it's not a, you know, it's not gray. It's kind of still muted. Sand green is kind of like a copper green, kind of muted. And there's a bat that goes on here. I don't think it matters which way his face is going. But we're going to rotate it around and make sure. I think that's the face. And he just sits in here. Now... I can't even get a finger in it. You know, hold on, let me just do this. There we go. Push that really in there, good. Jay, why do you bother? You're going to rip it apart. Yeah, but when I do the review, I don't want it to disintegrate. <laughs> Blame Lego for it when it was my fault. At least with these, you get to see everything I do. You know, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to tell you I didn't mess up, because you're going to know it. They make some mistake almost every bag, yeah. Oh, and this is backwards. Uh-oh. What do we do? We peel that whole thing up? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the brick separator here and pry these up. And then put it, just flip it around. So that right there is my mistake, see? I could have censored that, like the big boys do. Okay, where did that other slope go? Yeah, roll on the ground, I don't know where it went. 
saw it fly somewhere. We'll find it eventually. Maybe you can see it, but I don't. Oh, it was on the table all along. How silly of me. But yeah, there we go. And must be the bats in the belfry, huh? Bell Tower. And we gotta make eight of these, I believe. I like these little lattice ones. I don't even have any of those. Now I have some. I'm gonna make it drafty. I forgot to put the bat in there. Put him back in there too. We gotta put some right there. You know, it might be easier if I stack these windows on top of one another here and just kind of set them down like that. But I can just do it like this, too. Snap that right in there. And then... Really Lego. I'm really surprised you don't make a one by four plate with one stud <laughs> like that. Boy, that's kind of kind of loose there. Really wiggly. I'm assuming that this is going to go on the top somehow, so we won't know that until we get to that point. I think I got to. Write up the stuff for one more video before I head to bed. For a uh, tutorial. Whoa! This is actually printed. Yeah. And then this sits. Well, we're hiding all the printed stuff in the attic, so it goes right in here. So. Why are we doing that? Because it must be the cool thing to do now. You hide all the printed stuff and all the sticker stuff gets to be free. All right. And I need a profile brick. This bag here is not too long at all. It's just, at least it's colors. At least it's different things that we're doing here. Oh, I cannot remember your name, but I'm glad you comment on this channel. Um, I'm trying to think here. I'd have to look it up on YouTube, but you've been here for a while, I've noticed. I need to... You know, I could just pull it up on the tablet, huh? Well, that's fine, but what did I do with the tablet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, whoa! <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's warm it up here. It's already three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, so well, that's warming up. I will mention your name here in a second. Huh? Oh, I thought that was dark. Oh, wait, it is. That's uh, that's not. That's not dark, that's not like a dark brown, it's like more like a dark transparent gray. Ooh, those would be perfect if I can get enough of those for a for a travel trailer build. Maybe we'll have to do that or something. Or a nice TV screen too. Well, there we go. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right, let me swap channels because this is on my second one here. Jay, you're actually going to read on here? I can't remember her name, so i got to mention it real quick because I just thought on the top of my mind, it's like I was answering comments. It's like, oh, she's been on here commenting, and I can't. It'll help me remember if I say it. 
That sounds silly, but that's, what we're, that's how I do it. And this just sits right here. What is that do? It's kind of like hinged. Just some kind of... Is that the nether portal? Oh, here we are. Well... Uh, I think it's Amio. There we go. I think I'm saying your name right. Amio. So it's Amio. I've been seeing you comment on here too, along with Janet and Dan. So maybe I'll have to do roll call on here pretty soon. Huh. <laughs> At least here, like I said, I could be a little informal. Just about done for the night, so I won't be doing that video tonight. I thought it was maybe 2.30 in the morning, but no, it's already over 3 in the morning, and I gotta, I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow or do anything, but still. And this goes here. What is that doing there? I don't understand it. Like, what are we doing? I don't know. I, I, I have, I don't even know what, okay, this actually hangs over, let me pop that out and stick it there, okay, I should love making mistakes, it's so much fun, you, know, you can see just barely, Leg, I need these in brick yellow, please. I really do. goes in that little notch okay I got gotcha. you and I was correct we got to put a sticker on that and that sticker number 17 this one stops at 16 that's the foil stickers 17 is the one with the fang brushes oh now we know where the fang brushes are at, huh? Now we know what the brush, uh, the spider with the brush on the bottom of the thing was for. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the selling pitch there to get you to go down there and buy one of those hair brushes. So I guess the spider approves. And only one of these is going to get a sticker. there so this is meant to come out and all right well this is gonna oh some more slopes I can always use these huh for those who are not familiar that's what these little attic pieces do they kind of join up with those they're kind of hard to get a hold of well, as a kid, I only had one whole one of those. Cut and build a whole fancy roof. All right. All right, you're going to have to wiggle a bunch of stuff together here. So I don't know how you'd open that up. Well, I guess you just do that, huh? Stick your finger in there and then wiggle it loose and this goes on the top okay we're gonna pop this out here because I can't get that in there I think I'm gonna have to wiggle the windows in on both sides 
I think they're walking into some tubes. And then we can put this back in there. But how am I going to do the tour on this? What I'm going to do is do the 3D tour. Like this, like this. And then I'll pop off and show all the doors. And then when we do the close-up tour, I'll put everything back together. Okay. We had a bunch of those one by twos, and now we're using one by ones. Lego, are we trying to inflate the brick count on this? I mean, I could probably strip out at least a good thousand of these and make it ten times better. There we go, right up there. And the only thing we have left is the minifigure, and then this finishes up the walls here, and then this installment. So we'll get him together. Before I put the headgear on him, I'm going to fight to get the wands in. Oh, the, well, his wand went in real easy. It's like Darth Vader's helmet. Or the Sith, I can't remember. And then there you go. And that's the end of that. And that's what we have remaining for Peg 25. And pretty much... We did do some stickers. We'll take a look at these. We hit a little bit of this one here. We didn't do anything with that one. I think we grabbed one or maybe one or off of this. I can't remember. And that's what it is. See if I'm if I'm pronouncing your name Amyo or Amy. If I'm saying it right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Probably gonna be like, oh, you actually said my name. Yeah, I found. I'm, I'm gonna remember it because I said it live in here. Okay, and we'll set him in the front here. We'll use this as our staging point there. Now, so far, this build has just been kind of. You know, I still got mixed emotions about it. It just feels kind of dragged out. So, basically in this installment, we just did the siding, I finished up up here, and part of this up in here, and this right here, and this building over here. So for the most part, it's looking pretty good. Now... I only have six bags left to do. Oh, the roof's going to be kind of interesting. I won't get to that for a while. Let's see what bag 26. Yeah. Well, anyways, tell me what you think of the set so far. And what's this build installment number eight? I've got six more bags, so it means I've got two more left. So we're going to do this in ten. And unless I lose power, I'll probably do one tomorrow. But I'm going to try to do one every day. And see if I can get far on this. Get it done. I got one more set that's probably about half the pieces on this one. Shouldn't be too bad to finish up. And yeah, so far I'm pleased with the build. Kind of. It's just... I mean, it looks good. It's just, I don't know, it just seems kind of... Kind of flimsy in certain areas, but we're not done yet. But maybe it's just not my style of build, but for the most part, not too bad. But tell me what you think.